Pastor's right. Love is the most powerful thing. Faith, hope, and love. The greatest of these is love. Jesus, and I shared this the other day, you know, Jesus went through stuff just like we do. And he had just lost John the Baptist, had his head cut off, gets the bad news, goes to a solitary place to pray. All the people follow him. Jesus comes out of that place of prayer and he looks at all the multitude. He looks at all the sick people, all the hurting people, all the destitute people. The Bible makes an extraordinary statement. It says Jesus was moved with compassion and healed their sick. Jesus was moved with compassion and healed their sick. You know what the love of God will do on the inside of you? The love of God will empower you to put yourself to the side and become a vessel that God can flow through to touch somebody else, even when you're dealing with your own stuff. You see, because this is how it works. You got your circle of need that you're standing in, and then this other person has their circle of need over here. Jesus, send all these people home. They need to go get food. Jesus says, you feed them. But Jesus, we don't have anything to feed them with. And it's getting late. Tell them all to go. <laughs> you feed them. Bring me what you have. Five loaves, two fish. You see, when you step out of your circle of need into somebody else's circle of need, God steps into your circle of need and takes care of you. But love and compassion will empower you to put yourself to the side to be used supernaturally by God to reach into somebody else's life. And it's true. There's a commissioning happening this weekend from this place of receiving and learning and sitting at the feet of Jesus. God has put something in our hearts that now he's calling us to go and give away to somebody else. That day, love healed the sick. That day, love multiplied bread and fish to feed the hungry. That day, love worked a miracle. Never underestimate the power of love. Never underestimate it. The healing it could bring to somebody. The freedom it can bring to somebody. Galatians chapter 5 and I love the Amplified. <laughs> Says it this way. Circumcision, uncircumcision counts for nothing but faith working through love. Amplified says it like this. Ready? Faith working, activated, energized, set into motion through love. Because you know what faith is? Faith is like the, the external case of a battery. But then love is the power source inside the faith. When God's love moves your heart, it causes your faith to go into motion. It causes your faith to go into activity. It causes your faith to work. It causes your faith to work. Faith works through love. It's not just faith that heals the sick. It's not just faith that causes us to receive the promises of God. It's faith working through love. That's why the greatest is love. Because you could have faith and still not please God. You could have faith and move mountains. Have not love, you don't have anything. It really is true. But wow, church, what if we were to look at each other and start to see Jesus in each other. Start to discern Jesus in each other. Not just discern our mistakes, not just discern our sins, not just discern the presence of demons, but discern Jesus in each other. Discern the body of Christ in each other. Treat each other like we would treat Jesus. Could it be that that dimension of love, of discerning Christ, 
would fill us with so much of his power that when a sickness would try to touch our body, because we are all joined together as one, there's no crack, there's no door, there's no little window open for darkness to get into the body of Christ. But our love forms a hedge and a seal around us. And this was Jesus' prayer. He prayed before he left the earth, Father, make them one as we are one, that they may see your glory. Let them be one as we're one. We are one. We're one. We are one family. How many understand what I'm trying to communicate here today? How many can see it in the Word? How many maybe look at communion just a little bit different? Just a little bit different. This is an actual testimony of God's miraculous power at Matt's meetings. I had a callus under my foot causing pain. While in Matt's meeting, it was healed. I also had back pain that was caused by an epileptic seizure fall healed as well. Carol, Australia. I had torn cartilage in both knees. I was supposed to have an arthroscopy, but wanted to wait for the Lord to heal me. The first night of Matt's conference, I felt the presence of God during the worship. I knelt down and had no pain. I couldn't do that before. Angela, Australia. Send us your testimonies on how God has impacted you through Matt Sorger Ministries. Jesus taught his disciples that he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. God is raising us up to live in supernatural resurrection power, and the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in each believer. In this teaching series, The Third Day Church, you will learn how to walk in the dominion of God's kingdom and access authentic spiritual power. Jesus is returning for a glorious church without spot or wrinkle, and your part in the body of Christ is crucial for the times we live in. It's our prayer that you will walk in the power and fullness that God has destined for you. Order The Third Day Church, a three-CD teaching set by Matt Sorger, with your love gift of $25 or more. Also available online in MP3 format. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 today. For international orders, please visit us at mattsorger.com. Introducing the all-new MSM app where you can grow with Matt Sorger Ministries through video, audio, and social media around the world. Watch Power for Life over Wi-Fi or listen to a podcast on the go. View Matt's itinerary and see where he'll be speaking next. Follow Matt on Facebook and Twitter or view some photos on Instagram. Read the Bible in 40 different versions or listen to the English Standard Version. You can also journal as Matt shares God's Word. Read Matt's blog, where he gives insight through many teachings. Or raise your faith by reading someone's testimony and then share with friends that may need encouragement on Facebook. You get all these features and much more to explore in a clean, organized, and easy-to-use interface absolutely free. Download the MSM app for iPhone and Android devices by searching for Matt Sorger in the app and Google Play stores today. This program was brought to you by the friends and partners of Matt Sorger Ministries.